Miss Jano here. I'm making a screen recording today. This is a new type of video for me, but I wanted everybody to see how they could access their Google Classroom and their iReady paths because I think that some um, people have been a little confused about that. Um, or just have never done it themselves because the kids have done it um, and everything is kind of safe for them on their Chromebooks. So I don't want you guys to think that you can't do it um, without having their Chromebook. You can do it from any smart device, basically. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out because I stay signed in on my computer all the time. Okay, so if I were trying to get to my Google Classroom and I did not already have my Google app saved up here on my uh, bookmark bar, then I would just need to go into Google, just type in Google into any search bar. Um, I use Google Chrome as my internet browser, but you could certainly use any internet browser, okay? So I, I typed in Google and it went to Classroom. Let me try that without Classroom there and just do go to Google. All right, so as I go uh, to a search and I just put in Google, it brings this up. So you could just go to google.com. Okay, so, and, it, and when we get onto Google, you're going to have a little, um, it looks like uh, little dots or little squares in an array, but it's called a waffle. All right, that waffle holds all of my Google apps. You might not have that until you get signed in, however. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. All right, so on you, if you already have your Google account set up, you'll just choose yours. If you don't, you type in the student's Google email, their Gmail, and I've sent all that uh, information to you guys individually. If you need it again, please just message me on Remind and ask me. I'll be glad to send that to you again. All right, so now I've chosen my email, and I will type in my um password the kids passwords are different from mine but again I've sent that to you all right so now I'm signed in as me I'm gonna go over here to my waffle and I'm going to scroll down until I see Google classroom all right so there is classroom and now I am going to open that up and it brings me to mine now mine is a teacher account so it is going to look different from yours um, but, and from the kids, but, um, everybody should have one that says PHS Geno 3J. All right. And so this is our stream. This is where I type things in for everyone and, um, they can, uh, do comments to me. Um, I've had some comments here, actually. I won't open them all up, but I have uploaded the links to the videos that I have done for you guys, um, as read alouds on YouTube um, so that the kids don't even have to go into YouTube. They can just go into their Google Classroom and access them from there, which is probably a safer way to access them. And you can see where I have typed stuff in just over uh, the course of m many months and weeks here. All right, but let's go into one that was a new assignment. Let's go into um, the new assignment um, the Halifax explosion. I'll just click there. All right, I have to go over to instructions or you'll see the, the student work part. All it does is it pops up with this link that goes to StoryWorks Junior. So you click the link. It'll take you right to where you need to be in StoryWorks Junior and um, whatever software um, is available on your device, it will use that to open it up as a PDF. And then the students are able to read the story right there from their device, which is definitely great. And of course you're able to read with them. That's always encouraged. And then I could go um, back to my stream page and I can see the assignment pause and think questions. All right, so here were the instructions. Using the evidence from the article, answer each of the pause and think questions. So when you open that up, it's gonna go into a Google Forms. And I'm um, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that, I'm gonna mark as red there. Um, it's gonna ask you which account and you're gonna choose your Google account because it just needs to know that you're allowed to be in this area and it'll take you to your Google account and then you can open this up 
And if you need to go back um, out and read it to answer the questions, then you could have like two uh, windows open, one with the story open where you could go back and read and the other one where you can stop and you can answer the questions. You just type something in to answer the questions right there. And then when you're finished, you choose submit. Of course, it won't allow you to submit until you have an answer for each one of those. All right, so that is how you are able to um, use Google Classroom and see all of the things that I have uploaded in here. The other thing that I wanted you to be able to get to is um, Clever. And so you're going to go in and you're going to just type in to a search bar, um, clever.com. Uh, um, the kids may even have something over in their waffle for Clever as well. Let me just check and see. Um, the kids probably do have Clever, but if they don't, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you would go into Clever. It's going to bring me up as a teacher, but before it's going to allow me in there, I'm going to have to sign in. I either log in with my Google account or I can use a badge, but logging in with your Google account is definitely the right thing to do. Once you're in Clever, you're going to see iReady. And you're, it looks like, a, I tell the kids, it looks like a little sugar cube. So you click that icon for iReady and you might have to scroll to find it. Yours might be positioned differently once you get into that page. Of course, this is a teacher page. It's going to look very different from the student page, but they will have a place for paths or teacher assigned. And that's what will take them into what they need. Let me try to sign in to clever.com without all of the other stuff that it automatically saves for me just so you can see what that might look like okay so here we go here here you are at clever.com and it says log in as a student and it still took me back to mine because it's got mine saved but you get the idea of how you can do that um and it would it would just be a matter of needing your um usernames and passwords to get there which i have sent to you and um, check out what the kids have as their waffle or they will have something that says student resources mine says teacher resources i can't sign in a, as one of them and, unless i was using um, one of their usernames and passwords as an example so hopefully this will be helpful to you guys and i will do another video read aloud on youtube in just a little while and I am very hopeful that you guys uh, gained something from this and that it was helpful. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. I appreciate you guys so much. And you'll see my next video soon. Bye-bye.